Asha, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, you made it. Let's get started, shall we? This is Agent Morgan from the FBI. Hmm, nice to meet you. I'm Usha Johnson, the doctor in this hospital. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. Everyone calls me that. Very well, Agent York. Are you a forensic practitioner? Let's just say I've dealt with corpses before. That battle of wits, by the way. Did you create that yourself? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to see if our FBI agent could handle the task. I see. Well, it was pretty fun. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. We don't have much time. We need those autopsy results. Next time, try challenging us without obstructing an investigation. You've angered the monarch. From the onset of rigor mortis, the stiffening of the muscles, the time of death is estimated to be between 20 and 2200 hours. Uh, that's still quite early for such a crime to take place. Note that there are two exterior wounds, pressure marks around the neck, and a long cut running from chest to abdomen. Blood marks on her right hand tell us she was gripping something round. Her skull is also fractured, but that is unrelated to the cause of death. It probably happened to her after she was killed. Now, I first thought death by suffocation, due to the marks on her neck. But after further investigation, I now have a different conclusion. The direct cause of death was loss of blood from the wound. Which means... She was cut up while she was still alive. Yes, uh, a sharp knife was used. It was inserted beneath the sternum and then quickly sliced downwards. The excessive loss of blood from her internal organs is what actually killed her. Her nails are clean, and with no skin cells from the attacker, she also doesn't appear to have been bound nor badly beaten. She was apparently killed without resistance. The most tragic thing, however, was that she was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. The perpetrator cut out Anna's tongue. Well, I believe she was drugged first to phase her consciousness, and then the killer killed her. Now, the killer most likely has a deep, traumatized past concerning women. He probably cannot converse with them normally. Cutting out the tongue suggests a very lonely individual. Either that, or a truly hardcore sadist. He must get off on watching women suffer, especially when they can't answer back. Now, he watched as the blood pumped from her body, as she gradually grew cold. Now, a case in Seattle in 1985 with much like Usha, please, limit your report to your findings as a doctor. Criminal profiling is my job. You're wrong, also. Anna died fully, deeply, painfully aware of what was happening to her. But, uh... Tell me, what time did it stop raining on the night Anna was killed? Uh, just before I went to bed, 
right after the movie on TV ended, so around 1 a.m. What movie was it? An American Werewolf in London. Uh, directed by John Landis, 1981. So the rain stopped, accompanied by the ending song, Blue Moon. George, would you mind if I examined Anna myself? What more do you hope to find? I'm sure I mentioned that I have a personal interest in cases like these. 